Hey, Robert Davis back with you. <clears throat> I wanted to do something with you today that's new. Um, it will add value to your programs, a great deal of value to your programs. And um, I just bought these components for myself to use. And I'm really glad that I did. I've used them on other jobs before, but never owned them myself. So they belong to the companies that I worked for. And uh, they're very good. Let's get right into it. I'm going to take you through a sample program that I built in Delphi for the uh, SM import uh functions properties and methods it's not very complicated you can see on the form just got a button that tells the uh, database to open to the te right table and that actuates the wizard uh, this function also uh, loads this db grid so um, you can see a little bit about what's going on and then simply an ADO connection ADO table and a data source is all you need connect the grid to the data source as you can see here data source one yeah so let's go ahead and get into it here we go. Now you can see I've styled it. Um, this is called the diamond style. You have to download this from Get It in uh, Rad Studio. It's a very good looking style. I like it. Um, and here, let's just get started. Click the import button. The wizard comes up. Well, lo and behold, I'm going to export, I mean, import um, from an access database file. We just go through the wizard, fill out what we need to. We're not going to use that. We're going to use um, my desktop. Tree database and use that. We need to select a table from the database and then we'll click next. Uh, you can use the map all button here, auto map the columns and fields and stuff if you want. Um, you just check them out here. Now we don't want to import the ID because that's a unique uh, field that's auto numbered in the original database. So we don't we don't want that. We just want to append the the data records. Click next. And there's a look at. Uh, the data preview before you import and next again and I want to append the records and we'll click execute and you'll see real quick a progress meter come up there it is imported 308 records I think it was um, let's go down here and take a look at how many are in here? Oh, 712. <laughs> it's getting big. Um, I need to cut it back to what the original was. But uh, it demonstrates the import for you. It's very efficient. Um, and like I said, it will add value to your program. To be able, I, I have a situation where I'm developing schoolhouse software. And. Um, you want to get demographics from the school itself. So if they have a computer system that has that information, 
um, you can import that into the standalone program for the school health and records keeping. So it's a real time saver and a big money maker. Um, school health professionals love it. So uh, let's go through that one more time. Import opens a table. Uh, we want to import a access database. Get the right file. This is it. Oh. I don't know. Select the right table in the database. Click next. Next. Remember, don't do the ID because nothing will import on it um, on the auto ink field if it's already got something in it. Next. Next. There we go. Next. Append records. Execute. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> How far is it going to go? Let's see what happens when, when we cancel this. Uh, do we have thousands? Yes, 447,000. Uh, 347,000. Anyway, that's the import capability. Now, uh, just just to show you once again the, um, the many formats that you can import from. Documents, spreadsheets, workbooks, emails, databases and web publishing the XML files pretty cool um, data transfer file it can get everything for you but we'll cancel that and we'll move on to yes and we'll move on next I want to show you is the uh, SM export sample program that I made. Um, let me take you down here to the uh, actual components. For the last one, this is where the components came from. I only had to use this one. That's it. The uh, SMI wizard dialog. It has all the file types that you can select from. You know, it's got everything it needs. You don't need these individual ones. These individual ones are for specific use of doing data transfers, data imports. So then if we go down here and look at SM export, this is the only one I need, the SM export wizard dialog. That was it, you see, up here. So, uh, we have the same situation button to open the table that you want to export. And you also have to assign not only the data, I'll show you this, not only the, uh, oops, uh, the data source. Let's show you this. not only assign the uh, data source right here but this DB grid that's what it's going to be exporting from so you have to assign those two and the standard components for the data access so let's run this again this is using the diamond style 
it doesn't come in Rad Studio uh, in its basic form. You have to download and install it from Get It, which is up here on the Tools tab. Get It Package Manager, and I'll show you installed files. And you see all these different styles. And yeah, uh, uh, these are all installed. And so, and if you do it right, you can put a menu on here uh, for them to change the style to whatever they want and leave it at that, or change it any time they want. But that's beyond the scope, so let's move on. We'll go ahead and run this. <clears throat> and let's export. There it opens up the data table. And we want to export to let's just export to a database. Um, Unicode is fine. We don't want to select records only, we want all of them. Include the column titles, yes. Blank F0. Export the original value types. Cool. And then these here date, times, and numbers, uh, delimiters, and formats. Like it says, you can define any custom format. The default is fine with us. I like leaving zeros, though. So I'll check that. Next. Um, again. Well, we can leave ID in this one. We're not um, importing it into an access table. Exporting it from. <coughs> and let's see where we want to output to. We'll go on the uh, um, and we'll leave the name. That's fine. Um, you can specify how many records per file uh, merge an existing file. I I never used that. I don't know what that's for. Um, and we'll say open for file view and execute. Look at that. It did almost 5,000, overall 4,500 records. Here it is in a brand new file. Yeah, 4,254 records in like about a second. That's very cool. And it's all here. You can go all the way out to even the notes field. Let's see if we can wind this up. <clears throat> I don't know what this garbage is. Uh, yeah, but you can see all the way out to the note fields. It uh, does everything you need. Logicals, numbers, everything, dates. Let's look at dates, see if we put leading zeros. Oh, no, it didn't. Just put the dates as they were in. Well, that's fine. That's all right. Anyway, um, so there's your access table all exported. Um, that can be really good for uh, updating, say, the school administration database. Um, they can take that file and do updates and appends for new students, that kind of thing. So anyway, that's a simple look. Uh, these components come from um, 
scalabium.com, S-C-A-L-A-B-I-U-M.com. They're really good. They're not pricey. You'll be surprised. And no, I don't get any remuneration from Scalabium for uh, showing you this or telling you about it. I'm just pleased with these, and I'm sure you will be too. It will save you so much work under the hood. You could do it with just one component and one line of code. So have fun. Enjoy, and uh, we'll see you next time. Have a good night. Bye.